what's going down, commanders? Um, just to, I just want to throw an idea out there like normal. I know it, it normally falls on deaf ears, but it's something that I've been giving a little bit of thought to in in the past, and uh, I, 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 I think it could be implemented in the game. It wouldn't wouldn't affect too much the the, the high end corners. It would probably give the low end corners a little bit of something to go for, something to you know if they did it, they they would get a reward for it, same as any player. With the coin system as it is, do, do, do we is it outdated? Um, what I mean by that is I, I've been thinking, and, and if there was something we could do throughout the month or throughout the week, and we would be rewarded in what I, I what I would call it PVP coin. So say we went out, we hit. It would probably have to be PVP. You have to do it to get the reward. But you go and hit so many bases, and at the end of the week, you hit whatever uh, XP you gain. It would be converted into PvP points or PvP coin, and it would would make people even. I'm sitting here doing nothing. Now, I've got all my PvP units are done. That's this is my point. They're all they're re repaired. If I was gonna get a reward for it every time I did a PvP, say at the end of the week, end of the month, whatever whatever way they would want to go about it, the reward would be so many bases hit a week, so many, or you get so much exp. Um, infamy throughout the week the month and that would be converted down into uh, pvp coin going through to the next month so instead of me going out and hitting uh, obviously the, the high-end corners the big corners the whales and the ones that are always fighting are going to do one or two things they're going to be spending a lot of money or gonna, they're going to be using a lot of cheats and that, that's down to them what they use i'm not going to get into that but my point is if there was a reward for doing pvp would more people do it if you was rewarded with with like we have with the repair logistics, but instead of that, it would be converted into a coin or a, a, a whatever you want to call it. They could call it anything, but it would be converted. You get a little thing here, and it would tell you how much you're you hold. You go to your gear, and it would tell you how much you've earned for that week. Like like what you get with the medals payout. That's redundant now. The medals every week. So if they change that out and put it into PVP coin, something like that. I believe you would that you would see an influx of players wanting to do PvP, and the influx of players wanting to play PvP would then generate more coiners, because they would want to get a, a further in the goal, further get a little bit extra PvP coin. They might put ten bucks in the game that they never paid for in it before, because it would mean them being able to get a bit more free for PvP coin, to then repair PvP only units. So when you go into your PvP, you've got a bit of coin, whatever it is, double the amount of what normal coin would cost or whatever. But the rewards are there. If you if you kept on playing PvP, you would generate more of that currency. I truly believe that, that that should be implemented into the game. I believe it would make for a more fascinating, more diverse PvP because there'd be more people going out there doing it. And it, you couldn't base it on... Basically, you couldn't base it on zero zeros. So if you're not getting no uh, infamy, obviously at the start of the season you'd pick up a bit more through hitting zero zero bases. But once you hit that cap of two thousand, three thousand infamy, you'd have to then go out and fight players with infamy, and that could be rewarded for playing more. The more you play PvP, the more of the reward you would get through the the PvP coin or whatever currency, whatever you want to call the currency. I think that would generate more people more willing to go out and, and do PvP rather than sit here and do... I'm going to literally sit here and do nothing all day. I'm not. That's a lie. I'm going to go play another game in a little while. And I'm off today because I've got the gas man coming around to uh, look at me boiler. Um, so, yeah. I think that might be a good, good thing to implement into the game. It, it would generate more people willing to play PvP instead of say, sit and base it and do nothing it would give someone it give everyone a goal rather than medals that are literally fucking useless right now other than the special ops uh and, and anyone that needs to catch up with some of the old tech but that's about it the old tech and new, or new tech and new units <coughs> i also believe that they should could bring back a um sickle syndicate base you remember them 40s when back in the day this is for the old hats they used to be one of the toughest bases in the game but they used to reward us with units and things like that. Well, there is a, there is a way they can bring them back into the game in a massive way, and that's if you go out and do so many sickle syndicate or one sickle syndicate, you get a day upgrade logistic for one of your one of your uniques randomly picked. 
it doesn't have to be the brand new uniques, but it could be like three uniques back, and you get all them uniques would get you'd be able to get the uh, logistic for once a week, once a month, whatever they wanted to put out, or you could only fit hit them five times a month. But they would have to be a test of you, a true test. That's what I want is a true test of my skill, especially uh, against the AI. That could be implemented. That would give someone every, everyone something to log in for. It didn't. Uh, again, it don't. I wouldn't do the newer units because obviously kicks. I want to uh, gold. They want to earn coin that that produces cash for the company. But it still could be something they can implement. Uh, other than that, I just don't know uh, the direction of the game. I like most of the stuff out of the CC. The direction of the game for me is is just it's all over the place. One minute they do something cool, and the next thing they do something that's like stupid, and you scratch your head. And then they put out the ultra base, but instead of making the base uh, like tricky, they just ram it full of units, and it makes no sense. Things like that, and then half the tech that they put out nowadays, half the new stuff they put into the game don't work for for, for a week, two weeks, until they can be bothered to fix it. I just want to see the game fucking progress. There's no progression in the game. There's no. There's very little reward in, in playing anymore. You know, all there is is it, it, ego. And that's what they relied on for the last, pretty much since the infamy, infamy thing come out, is ego. They've not rewarded the players for playing PvP. They're not giving us, they've not put the system into place that, that rewards them, truly rewards them, for going out, getting involved with PvP, having a good tear up with each other. There's no reward in that. Get a bit, little, little bit of medals and blood for him at the end of the season after two, three months. It's very, very little of a reward. If they implemented something that brought the game back, brought PvP back in a big way, I think they're on. To, they're, they're, they'd be onto something that they'd, they'd find a lot more players will be in the game more active for a longer period of time than what they've got now. You know, I don't know what their marketing team are, are doing at the minute. I don't know what they're. If, even if they're advertising the game anymore for new players. So let's make it interesting for the players that are in the game. Put a system in place that, that can't be cheated, can't be conned, and give everyone a chance to get a good reward. And the only good, the only thing I can think is a is a PvP coin. You know, you, you, you'd buy your 100 coin, or 50 coin, or whatever you get, and you'd probably get a little bit of PvP coin with that. They wouldn't miss out on the buildings being upgraded with the PvP coin because you couldn't use them. The units and standard unit uh, units you couldn't uh, repair them with that coin. It would solely be for PvP. And I think it ain't a bad idea. I, w I wish I had a near roll at Kickside, but they they're all too busy worrying about what I'm going to say next. They're all oh he's a cunt. He's just slagging us all off. I'm not. I'm not. I, I just want to push for the best game I can possibly get. And if you can't see that through through my anger sometimes, and it is anger, it's frustration. If you can't see that, then you're blind to how bad this game is. I'm sorry, but it's the truth. It's a shame that we we all wanted uh, Will Harbin out of the game. Well, look what we got. We got a company that don't care. You know, they they're they're a, they're a stock company. They're a a trading company. A, a what do they call them? They've got to pay their dividends to the shareholders and shit like that. That's all they're interested in is, but at the end of the day, is the, the bucks. It's left down to the team to make it more enjoyable. And I've give ideas, whether they listen to me. I've, I've seen other players put ideas out there and they've just gone on deaf ears. This will probably be another one. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think. I would love to know if you, if you think that's not a bad idea. It's a great idea. Throw it on the fucking forums if you if you've got the courage if you, if you've got a throwaway account uh, chuck it on the forums and Discord. It will probably be removed, but maybe one Kickside employee might see it, and then who knows? But uh, yeah, leave me a comment below. Let me know, even if you think I'm a cunt, just say it. See you later, guys. Bye bye.